In a terrorist attack on a CRPF battalion today, one Jawan has been killed along with a six-year-old child. A six-year-old child has become the latest victim of Pakistan-sponsored terror. The attack was reported from Jammu and Kashmir's Anantnag, where a CRPF party was deployed in highway security in Bijbihara area. A six-year-old boy and a CRPF soldier were killed in the dreadful terror attack. According to a statement by Jammu and Kashmir police, terrorists attacked 90 battalions CRPF near Padshe Bagh in which a CRPF personnel and a minor boy of Machu area of Kulgam suffered critical injuries and were removed to hospital where they succumbed to their injuries. Security forces have now cordoned off the entire area as a manhunt has been launched to nab the terrorists involved in the attack. Joining us on this broadcast is uh, Vion correspondent Ishan Wani who joins us live from Srinagar. Ishan, this is a dreadful news. A six-year-old boy has been killed because of Pakistan's sponsored terror. Can you give us an update on the manhunt to nab these terrorists involved? Well, absolutely right. This is a very sad news. In fact, people from Kashmir have been reacting strongly to the death of this uh, particular boy uh, who was with his father, accompanying his father. Uh, we have been told by the family that uh, he had insisted his father that he'll come accompany him along for some work. And this is when they reached that particular spot. Uh, when an uh, exchange of fire took place, there were three militants on a motorbike who attacked the security forces with grenades and fire. And that's when in the exchange of fire, this boy also was hit by a bullet and uh, he later succumbed to his injuries at a hospital. Now, remember, apart from this boy, boy there was, there's a CRPF Jaman who has also died in this particular attack. Uh, now security forces since then ha are saying that they are trying to trace down all these militants who were on this particular motorbike and ran away after firing at them. Uh, but yes, there has been a manhunt launched to nab these uh, particular militants who were on a bike. Uh, we have seen there have been several successful operations by the security forces in the Kashmir Valley in the past several days and uh, that is what uh, security forces see that that's yielding a great result for them. But to Today's attack is something uh, which has happened on a highway. Uh, we have time and time again seen since the Pulwam attack happened, an IED car was laid in and uh, later on rammed into a CRPF vehicle. There has been high alertness on the uh, highway. That's why there's a deployment of CRPF personnel. And that is why we have seen uh, there is an increase in the number of attacks on the highway as well. But security forces say in this particular attack and the people in the Kashmir are also uh, worried. The sort of violence that the uh, kids in Kashmir have been exposed to at their very young age, including this particular boy who died now. Uh, that is something which is concerning the people in the Kashmir Valley, uh, the sort of violence and the impact that's leaving uh, on these children who are uh, uh, now becoming uh, someone. Some people are saying that these are a really sad moment for the people in the valley, especially the sort of impact that's leaving on the psychology of the young in the valley. Mishan Wani, thank you so much for getting us uh, all these updates. In fact, in recent times, security forces have launched uh, coordinated operations to nab Pakistan-sponsored terrorists in the valley.